boys and girls welcome to my channel i'm for classic and welcome to pen chart so for today what i do have in it is evo 3 odst a game developed by multiple developer teams because a lot of uh, developers have been involved in evo 3 odst production since the original to the remaster to the port to the pc it have been a ton of developer teams inside the evos from master chief collection involved so what happens really is that this game it is using the evo engine and i'm testing the game on the mx 130 with gddr5 which should be pretty equivalent to the gt 940 mx also with gddr5 so my recommended settings for this game to have an experience mostly above 60 frames per second it is to play at 900p at the original setting if you don't have a 1080p screen and you just have kind of a 720p or 768p you can play the game maxed out all right so looking to the requirements uh, this game doesn't really ask a lot so they just require a GTS 550 and they don't even talk about memory so at 1080p whatever the settings if you go whatever the settings you go with whatever if you go with maximum settings which is the NS preset whatever if you go with the original or performance your experience will be always above 60 frames per second so if you just have a 720p screen, you can play the game max out above 60 frames per second. Although since I have a 1080p screen, I can go above 720p easily. And my recommended settings it is to go with the original. Since the original on my test, it did perform above 60 frames per second. While the maximum setting at 900p, we started to notice some drops. So at 1080p, if you want an experience above 40 frames per second mostly, and if you... you and if you think that is enough for you, you can go with 1080p, whatever, if you go with maximum or original. So wrapping all the results together uh, from 900p original to something lower, like 720p resolutions, you can play above 60 frames per second. If you intend to just play above 30 or 40 frames per second, you can go with something higher than 1080 uh, I mean, the 900p original, like 900p maximum settings, 1080p original, or 1080p maximum. So the difference in graphics between presets are quite small. The only differences that I have noticed it was in draw distance of stuff, like foliage, level of detail, and shadow quality. So performance difference, it isn't really that big between each setting. Usually there, are, there is differences in textures, but for Evo 3 or DST, it doesn't seem that there are differences in textures between the presets, mostly because the VRAM usage have been quite the same. So that's what you should know about its performance, but I mean, what about the game? I'm not really going to talk a lot, because I don't really know Evo 3 or DST, I'm not really sure what this game stands for comparing to the other Evos. The visual, uh, it is very close to Evo 3, so it makes me think that Evo 3 or DST was kind of an expansion pack or a kind of a standalone expansion. You don't even play with Master Chief, but still, oh my god, but it is still uh, an Evo game with all the same features like. So this game was initially released for the Xbox 360 in 2009 and only now, 11 years after, we are having access to the game. So that's why it feels dated, but still it did receive the Master Chief treatment none of the way. So it was released for the 360, but what is good news about it is that we now have access to the game. It is again another level for the PC, that it is a comp a compensate port so it, it is a very good port so we are still waiting for Evo 4 I'm not really sure if Evo 5, Evo 5 takes part of the Master Chief collection but I'm 100% sure that the Evo Master Chief collection still includes Evo 4 despite it is still not available I think it's one of the games that we PC gamers are waiting for so in case you don't have or don't know the Evo Master Chief collection Evo Master Chief collection it is a pack 
which includes all the Evil. So it starts from Evil Reach, Evil One, Combat Evolved, Evil Two, Evil Three, Evil Three or DST, and then Evil Four. I'm not really sure about Evil Five though. But all these same games, all these Evil games in the same package for the price of for the price of 39.99. So I think it's an extreme value. Paying $39.99 and getting access to all these Evo games, it is insane. Alternatively, you can buy on with these Evo Free or, or DST. It costs you five bucks, so it's not really expensive by any means. And the good thing is about this game is that it is not locked to the Windows Store. So if you want to buy it through Steam, you can do it without requiring to to pay for the Windows Store because it is not locked to the Windows Store you are it is not mandatory to use Windows Store on this game you just can buy this game from Steam and play through Steam if you want but alternatively you can pay for Xbox Game Pass which unfortunately it just raised its price um, some days ago it was costing 399 euros or 499 dollars so it was an excellent value where you got access where you get access to all the Microsoft exclusives and a turn of third party games. Right now it raises the price to 9.99 on the PC because uh, the PC it was having kind of an introductory price and now it costs 9.99 which I think it, it is very expensive it is a double of the price and I still think that Xbox Game Pass still fails to have the same offers as the console uh, Game Pass because the console Game Pass also have offers much more games than the PC but I'm expecting them to kind of improve their game pass to the PC but still talking about this game specifically this game and the entire Evo Master Chief Collection it is uh, available on the Xbox Game Pass so if you want to pay uh, the monthly fee or if you never play the monthly fee you can pay one euro and you get access to the Xbox Game Pass uh, throughout an entire month and if you, if you feel that you have the time to spare and playing all the Evils, you can play all the Evils in one month for one euro. So, if you feel that you have the time and patience to complete the Evil Reach, the Evil 1, the Evil 2, the Evil 3 and the Evil 3 or the ST, go ahead, subscribe to Xbox Game Pass if you've never done it before. You just need to pay one euro and you can complete all the Evils which were never available on the PC. Well, in fact, Evil 1 and Evil 2 were but these ones were never available on the PC before. So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about Evo or the or DST. Hope you can enjoy the rest of the video and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Man down!
just happened? Subspace rupture. Must have weakened the support ranks. All units. <coughs> Target assets are on the move. Everyone clear the area before more debris comes down. <coughs> Colonel? Sir! Damn, it's gone. Trooper, head up the hill! We gotta find a way out of this park. Tangles, inbound! Tangles on section 8, plasma cannon! Oh, <laughs> 